Our next session is about Lingua Libre. Um, there will be two rooms, one for a presentation in English uh, in this room and another one in French for those who would prefer that. Um, the presentation in French will be given by Luca Prigaldini, one of our co-hosts today. Um, and if someone could put the well, I'll now put the chat. Uh, oh, yes, the, the link is in the chat. Um, so please follow that if you are interested in a presentation of Lingua Libre in French and stay here if you would rather hear it in English. Uh, je peux traduire uh, pour uh, cette information. Si vous souhaitez assister à une conférence uh, sur Lingua Libre en français, vous avez un lien qui s'affiche dans le chat uh, à présent que vous pouvez suivre pour euh, aller écouter cette présentation par Lucas Prigaldi. Euh, I will now start the presentation on Lingua Libre. Um, as I said at the beginning of this session, um, my name is Adelaide Calais. I am the Francophonie and Diversity Project Manager at Wikimedia France. Um, Wikimedia France is a non-profit organization for uh, open knowledge across Wikipedia and its sister projects. And we have developed um, Lingua Libre as a tool to help minority languages um, get uh, spread out on, on, on Wikimedia projects. Allow me to share my screen, please. Um, there we go. Adelaide? Yes. I just wanted to, to say to everyone that uh, currently you have a question and answering uh, button that is probably uh, on the bottom of your screen. So if you have any question, please feel free to use this feature or you can leave questions in the chat uh, during the presentation so that we can answer questions at the end of the presentations. Well, thank you very much, Daniel. I was finding my presentation. Um, there we go. Um, so, I'm happy to present today Lingua Libre. Um, Lingua Libre is a project that we developed uh, three years ago now. Um, its aim is to document linguistic diversity um, and to help bring new language communities to Wikimedia projects. Uh, because Wikimedia projects are in a written form, um, many um, speakers, many minority language speakers uh, felt that it was difficult to start a new version of a Wikimedia project um, in their language um, because it takes a lot of people to start a Wikimedia project. Um, as a side note, Wikimedia projects are websites um, held by the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, Wikipedia is one, it's the most famous one. The Wiktionary is another one, it will be presented to you tomorrow. Um, there are projects such as Wikimedia Commons, um, which hosts uh, images and sounds. Um, but then most projects such as Wikisaurus or Wikidata are in the written form and therefore these communities um, were feeling that they lacked the human resources and sometimes the um, the rules, the, um, the, the institutions to set a certain writing uh, of their language, a certain spelling of their language into stone and to allow them to write one version of their language as a Wikimedia project. Uh, therefore, Lingua Libre brings audio content to the Wikimedia movement that it lacks. Um, and it also allows people who um, don't have necessarily the time to write an entire encyclopedia to get onto the Wikimedia projects um, and to contribute their knowledge and to still share the treasure of their language um, through audio content and by recording words 
we hope that um, starting on Lingua Libre, people can then also, why not, uh, move on to create a dictionary of their language on the Wiktionary or to, um, to go on to Wikidata and, and uh, record uh, words on there as well. Um, Lingua Libre has this advantage of being easy to use, uh, of being fast. Uh, you can record um, up to 800 words an hour um, if you are used to it. Beginners usually record about 300 words an hour. Um, it's also um, under the a free license, so it's a Creative Commons by Share Alike license, uh, which means that your recordings can be reused on all Wikimedia projects, but also on other websites. So, for example, if you would like to um, put your recordings forward um, in another project that you have and on a web another website, that's completely doable. Um, we are trying to automate a process of reusing those recordings so that we don't just store them somewhere and uh, and treasure, treasure the fact that we've recorded them. Um, so to reuse these recordings, um, we have developed a bot that uh, will put them on the Wiktionary uh, that exists. For now, it's working on the French Wiktionary and the English Wiktionary, but we would be delighted to um, develop this bot for other languages, um, but we have to do it language by language. Um, so please feel free to get in touch with us if that is something that you're interested in. Um, and the, the, the last way that Lingua Libre um, is useful is that it works in a massive mode. So you record your, your words all at once and then it will massively upload them onto Wikimedia Commons the um, sound, video and image platform I was talking about that's hosted by the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, I will now quickly show you how to record a word on Lingua Libre. Um, I'll use English for this. <laughs> uh, but um, So please allow me to move on to um, showing my um, showing the website. Uh, there we go. This is Lingua Libre. Um, so this is what you will see if you are not logged in to Lingua Libre or to any Wikimedia uh, project. In order to start recording, you have to click on record wizard, but you can only record a word if you already have an account. if you already have an account and you're logged in. So I will do that now. The advantage is that we're using the login for Wikimedia projects. Um, and so you can use your Wikipedia account to register, to log in on, on, onto um, Lingua Libre. So once you've logged in, uh, it looks the same, but it will allow you to move on to the record wizard. Um, the record wizard is a five-step process uh, that allows you to record words by lists. Um, there is nothing that prevents you from recording entire sentences or paragraphs, but we find it quicker and is easier to reuse when it's single words. Um, the first the first um, step is to try your microphone, of course. Um, I hope this works. Can you still hear me now? Yes. Thank you, Daniel. Um, so I'm going to start the test. This is my test. Mm. Not very promising. Um, I think you may have to cut your microphone on Zoom so that the mm, so that it has access to it. That's strange. Um, so I'll 
try again. Um, this is the test. Um, okay. So it works when I've got my headphones in. I think I'll, I'll do it this way. Um, if you ever have a question on how to configure your microphone or have troubles, the same kind of trouble that I just experienced, there's a help page for you um, with explanations on how to do it. But there's also a discussion page on Lingua Libre where you can ask any sort of question uh, about recording words on Lingua Libre. So feel free to go and chat with other contributors uh, on the discussion page. The next step um once you've set up your mic is to um, make your profile uh, so you have your name your gender which is interesting um which could, which could be interesting for people who are looking at how people pronounce things um it's, it's always interesting data uh you have to um assess the the, the languages that you speak um and that you're willing to record yourself in uh, we like to um, have the place of residence of the speaker because um, it has an impact on how you speak a language. I do not speak English the way I would speak it if I was British or American uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm not from those countries. I, uh, I speak it differently. Um, and since it has an impact, it's again, interesting data. And lastly, you um, have to select a license that is a Creative Commons Attribution Chair alike. Uh, there are different versions that you can choose between. Um, and, and you can always go on Creative Commons to check what the differences between those licenses are. But the common um, denominator is that it can be shared <laughs> as long as its integrity is respected on any kind of platform. Um, and you will be, the license ensures that you will be credited for your work. Uh, the next step is when you choose the words that you want to record. Um, now, in this step, it's very important that you choose the right language here. So if um, you're willing to record a word in English, for example, this is set up to French right now, so I need to change it to English. Um, this matters a lot because on the platform where the words are going to be stored, Wikimedia Commons, um, the language that you've selected here is going to be used to name the recordings. It's the, at the beginning of the name of the recording, name of the file, is the language that you've recorded it in. Um, and so if you don't choose the right language here, it will be misplaced. So. Uh, it's important to pay attention to this. Um, and then you have four different ways to um, make lists of words that you wish to record. The local list uh, tool um, is uh, something that allows you to record words that have been put together on a list on a page on Lingua Libre. So that means that somebody or you has created a page on Lingua Libre, um, has created a local list, uh, prior to your recording session. The nearby tool um, turns to Wikidata, which is the Wikimedia um, database, uh, semantic database. Um, and it has, it, it will ask for your, either your coordinates or your location and um, search Wikidata for nearby monuments and um, historical um, landmarks. Uh, and give you a list of names uh, of places that you can record. The Wikimedia category um, is this uh, tool that allows you to um, search either Wikipedia or the Wiktionary. Um, so this can be uh, rewarding because if you're um, recording words from the Wiktionary, you know that these words are already documented in a written form and that it's therefore easier to reuse your recordings as um, sorry, as the pronunciation of the words that, that are on the Wiktionary. Um, external tools allows you to use other tools such as PetScan or the Wikidata Query Service. Um, and, and, and it's, well, there, there you go. <laughs> you have to uh, be at, at advanced um, 
level um, of contribution usually to be using those tools. Um, but if you have questions about these four uh, ways to record, uh, to make your lists, I'm sure that we can answer questions in the chat or in the Q&A. Uh, so the last and easiest way to record a word is to just type it here. Uh, if I write house, for example, uh, excuse the ordinarity of, uh, of, of the examples, but um, and, and dog. Um, this is how you can make a list uh, if you're starting, for example, and you, you don't want anything too um, complicated. So I've got my language here. The words are here. I am able to um, suppress the ones that I might not want. Um, and last but not least, if you're um, contributing for the first time or haven't contributed much before, you will have a limit of 300 words um, for uh, that you can record. Um, and so if you go beyond that limit, the words that are beyond those 300 words will not be uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. This is a security uh, setup um that only allows verified contributors to um to massively contribute more than 300 words um so at first i mean when you're when you're learning to use the tool uh, please record less than 300 in each session uh, this will uh, this limit will restart um every uh, 72 hours um so you can record every week 300 words if you want and once you feel comfortable and if you know that you want to keep doing this you can ask for the auto patrol status on the discussion page of lingua libre um, and contributors will help you to get it uh, so that you may record uh, more words in one sitting uh, the next step is the studio it is where you record your words what's interesting about the studio is that um it will automatically detect when you're done speaking so that every pause between words is uh, detected by the software and he uh, moves from one word to the next so you don't have to stop it and restart it every time you go on to the next word so you will not be able to hear the audio uh, but you'll hear me pronounce it and you'll see what happens on the screen if i say house dog Uh, so it automatically moved on to dog when I stopped speaking, uh, which allows you to be quicker. Uh, you can then check um, your files uh, directly here by clicking on the little arrow. Uh, and if you detect an error, you can just click on this um, start again sign uh, to record it again. So I, I clicked on it right now and it's allowing me to record it again. Dog. There you go. Um, if in your list there's a word that you wish to skip, uh, you have this button here uh, that allows you to do that. Um, and then uh, once you're done, you just go to the next step and click on publish. House. This is the step where you check your recordings. Um, at the moment and at any time, um, I would say that it's very important to check your recordings. Um, there can be uh, sometimes uh, problems between the detection of you moving on to a next word and the software. Um, but there also can be moments when uh, there was a noise in your background and it picked up uh, the noise or uh, it, there can be clicks uh, occasionally. Uh, in your recordings. That's not to do necessarily with you, but it, it can be linked to your setup. So please ch check your recordings, especially if you know that you're speaking in a minority language and that not many people would be able to tell if the recording is right or not because they don't speak your language. Um, this is one of our great challenges for the years to come. Um, so once you've checked all your recordings, um, if there are mistakes, you can go back by clicking on previous to record them again, or you can just move on if you're happy with the result. 
uh, and publish them on Wikimedia Commons. Um, this will work <laughs> uh, for a few minutes according to the number of words that you've recorded. Um, and this happens sometimes. What just happened is I've got two recordings and one of them, I am told here, uh, did not upload successfully onto Wikimedia Commons. The only thing I have to do is click on retry a failed upload. Um, and it will do that for me. And usually on the second try, it's good. Um, and then once you're on two out of two or 300 out of 300, you have two options. Um, you can go and check your uploads on Wikimedia Commons, or you can go back to the beginning and record more words. Um, for now, we're going to go check uh, Wikimedia Commons so you can see what it looks like once the words are recorded. Um, so this is the Wikimedia Commons platform. Uh, and you will have a list of your recordings here uh, that you can listen to by clicking on the arrow. Uh, if you go here, you have this is the page of your recording and you can use this title to link it anywhere or this URL to put it on any kind of website. That's it for how to record uh, words on Lingua Libre. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them now. We have four minutes left for questions. Adelaide, we have a few questions in the Q&R feature. So there is the first one. I, I, I don't know. I, I think you can access them. So there is a first one that is uh, marked as solved, uh, which is from Wasim Swaile why we are limited to record single words rather than whole sentences. So just let me know if any of you want to um, want to speak. I can allow you to speak. And we don't have much time to answer questions. So I'll let uh, Adelaide uh, manage this. <laughs> Um, so the the first uh, the question asked by Krishna Parajuli. Um, I apologize for uh, pronunciation if I made a mistake. Um, the question is: um, if I like to record a, a native speaker, so somebody else, um, I on the side, um, Daniel, could you? Um, type a quick answer, a word or a letter to every question because it only shows to the attendees the questions if they're answered so they can see the questions. Thank you. Uh, so if, if you wish to record someone else, um, there is something on your profile that allows you to. Um, so if I go back to the record wizard. Um, so this is your first step. You've checked your mic. You're on your own account. Um, and you can see here that I have other speakers um, re um, recorded on my, on my profile. Uh, so that means that you can have, you can even create a profile that has the name of your project, for example, um, where you will um, have a certain, I don't know, a profile for a group of people and you can then Hello. allow them. Yes. Excuse me, we don't see your screen. So. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Um, So I'm back on my profile, step two of the record wizard. If I click on my, my speaker profile, you can see that I have other speakers here in the list. Um, and so, as I said, you can um, click on create a new speaker and it will automatically link it to your profile, to your main speaker profile. Um, so this is how you can allow people to record in, in their language if they don't wish to create their own profile. Um, and if it is uh, an endangered language that um, sometimes doesn't, isn't present on Lingua Libre yet, um, the only step, very easy one, is to go on the discussion page here and to ask contributors to create um, the item for that language. Uh, 
Abel's question is, can one word have more than one pronunciation? The word dog can be recorded by more people. Indeed, uh, Lingua Libre doesn't have a limit on the number of times a word can be recorded, except by yourself. So if you are recording um, a list of words and, uh, and you don't wish to repeat yourself, there is something that allows you to um, uh, to choose words that you haven't recorded yet. Uh, and it's this thing here, remove words already recorded, but this is the words already recorded by you. Um, we can record words uh, any type, uh, any number of times um, by different speakers because we're interested in um, different pronunciations. Uh, uh, yes, I will show quickly the help and community pages. Um, so the community page, uh, we have the discussion page here, uh, which is basically a chat room. Uh, you simply click on start a new discussion and it will open this window for you uh, where you can uh, post a message. If you wish to uh, read messages that have already been exchanged, uh, you can read them here by just going down on this page. Um, there's a help desk with already written pages. Uh, on, on how to use different settings of Lingua Libre. Um, and then I, I think that's it for now because uh, I've, uh, <laughs> I've gone to the fullest extent of my time. Um, I thank you for, for attending this session. I will now introduce the next session. <laughs>